Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create tables in LaTeX. For that purpose, I will use the tabular environment. Let's get started with an example. To create an environment, we need to use begin comment. And let's say our environment name is tabular. And let's end this environment. Tabular environment takes only one mandatory argument. And in this argument, we specify how many columns we will have and whether these columns are left justified, centered or right justified. Let's say that in our example we have three columns and all of them are centered. So that's why I wrote down three C's here. C represents centered and since there are three of them, there, are, there will be three columns in my table. To provide the entries inside the environment, for example, let's say heading one. So the heading one will appear in the first row and in the first column. To pass the second column, I need to use ampersand symbol. And now if I write down heading two, heading two will appear in the second column. And to reach the third column, let's use another ampersand symbol. And let's say heading three is the last column. If I compile, you will see that these are the columns. There are three columns and in the first row there are headings. To create another row, we need to start in a new row by using double backslash. And now let's say entry one is in my first column. Entry two is second column and entry three is in the third column. you can see my table right now here. So in the first row, I have headings and in the second row, I have entries. If we wanna put some vertical lines between columns, we need to use pipe symbol. For example, if I put a pipe here, it means that there will be a horizontal line between first and second columns. Let's compile and see. Okay, so this is here between uh, first and second column, we have a vertical line. And let's also add vertical columns here, everywhere. So maybe it will look a little bit better. And also we can add horizontal lines. If I want to put a horizontal line at the top of the table, I just need to write down H line, which represents the horizontal line just here. And it will create a horizontal line at the top. And also, if you want to use a horizontal line at the bottom, we are just moving to the next row and saying that there will be a horizontal line by using H line command. Now, this is how my table looks like. And to take it centered, for example, I need to use table environment and we are putting this tabular environment inside the table environment. So that's why I just created the table environment and I end it here. As an optional argument, I need to specify the position. Let's say it's H for now, but uh, I will talk more about how to position your table in the page in, in the following videos. For now, let's keep it as H. So if I compile, it will just take it here because right now it's a table. And if you want to make this table centered, we need to say that it's centering comment. We need to use that comment and it just moved to the center of the page. And we can also add caption. For example, this is a simple table and it will add a caption at the bottom of the table. We can also give a cross-reference, but again, I will uh, talk about cross-references in the following videos. So for now, I'm just skipping it that as well. Uh, lastly, I want to show you if we, okay, let's, before that, let's, for example, let's say that the first column is left justified. So I need to use L here and the last column is right justified. I need to use R here. So when we compile, you see that the 
second, uh, uh, the first column is F justified. And instead of just uh, saying that these are left or right justified or centered, we can provide the column width. And for that purpose, we are using P. And then it follows the curly bracket. Inside the curly brackets, we are writing down the length. For example, you can say that it's two centimeter, and it will make the first column two centimeter, or make it four, so it will be more obvious to see, as you can see. If you want to make it one centimeter, then since the heading one is longer than one centimeter, it will have two lines in the first row. And I can, by the way, I can also add a horizontal line between first and second row. So you will see that the first row is just adding one here. If you don't want to put a horizontal line for all the three columns, for example, if you want to put only for the first two columns, or then we need to use C line comment. And inside we are specifying where you want to start and where we want to end. For example, if I want to start from the first column, and if I want it to end in the second column, then I need to write 1-2. And as you can see, now I have a horizontal line only in the first and second columns. So uh, I think that's all about uh, how to create tables for today. I hope that it was helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any question. In the following videos, I am planning to talk about multi-column, multi-rows, and how to make your table look more beautiful by using some other uh, packages as well. And hope to see you there.